Welcome back. I'm Quinn and Derman. Asian Martian Marty signing in. And today we're going to be building a menu for the text based game in C. So, first we'll take a look at the code. And I better get this sweater off because I'm borrowing it from my sister because all my hoodies are in the wash. Wait, wait, where are we doing the, from the beginning? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to eat this again. <laughs> now go. Come on, I'm trying to be serious here. Why are you making me read this? <laughs> That's disgusting. That's dog food now. People will, will think it's hamburger. <laughs> okay, go. So we're just going to test out the game a quick second here. Show you what we got so far. So we enter your difficulty. I'll go for two, which equals medium. And now you're sent right into the mining. Now, we'll probably won't find... <coughs> so it shows mining, and then if you don't find anything, it just keeps on going and going until you do find something. And it's based on a random number system. So we should get... So, Except it's not truly random. Because there is no truly random number generator. Yeah. But anyways, we finally found silver, and that's basically all this game does. So, we'll take a quick look at the code here. Here's the includes. And then we have fusing namespace std right there. And then we have all the integers here. The and the, <coughs> like the, where you say void mine, that's called function prototyping. So that's where, if you want to have your function defined below the main function, you have to have, you have to go void whatever function is, because C++ reads the code top down. So, that way it knows the function's there. Yeah, so here's our main loop. So that's basically where our, all the code congregates to, I guess. And then here's the mining loop, what well, we just witnessed, but it goes into this random loop where, where it finds, actually finds resources for you. And then we have the die loop, which will happen almost never. Die function. <laughs> die function. And then we have the game over function here, which returns you to me. So today we're going to add a menu loop. So we'll start in here with all the other voids and then go void menu. So that's again prototyping the function. Yeah, we gotta have this up here. <coughs> we gotta prototype the function up here. So now underneath main here, we'll go just above mine and then we'll go vo whoops, void men menu. Alright. And again, um function prototyping, it's not necessary anything you can you don't have to function prototype, it's just it's really just a prefer a coding preference. Me, I don't prefer to use function prototyping, but this guy here does. It's how my brain works. Anyways, so now we we've used the scroller brackets so that so that we can run a large chunk of code inside the menu menu function. So we'll start by having a C out bit here and then so that's just a string there. Strings are in quotes and strings you can name it whatever the heck you want to. It's not going to make a difference in the code. The string is just there for the user's purpose. Yeah. So now we'll add an end line there so that the line ends. And then we'll go sin user. So sin c in is the opposite of c out. It's getting user input from the user. User is the variable. You can name that variable whatever the heck you want it to. Yeah. So it's up to you. So then we'll hit enter. And then we'll go have an if statement here. And then if user equal equals quotations one then we'll have and then we'll send it we'll do scrolly brackets and then we'll send it to the mine whoops to the mine this way when you press one and then hit enter then i'll send you to the mine and then we'll have another if statement and then if user whoops equal equals two then we'll send it to main. So we'll go main. <coughs> Whoops. So if you guys are wondering what that, the heck that semicolon is, and if you're a Pythonist, well, the semicolon in C++ is um, required at the end of every line that does something. So it's not required at the end of the if statement. It's just the line that actually does something requires the semicolon. So it can be really, real be it can. Ugh can really be a big bugger to debug looking for that little semicolon that you misplaced yeah all right so now the next thing that we're going to do is change this mine here in the main loop <coughs> so then we'll we change this to menu this way menu 
is started right off the bat. So now we'll just compile and run this. We'll test the menu out. Let's go to the mine. And you found nothing. And both ways are working. You see, it hits two, that sends us to the main menu, and one sends us to the mine. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, leave a thumbs up. If you have it, <coughs> You just fart. <laughs> if you uh, have any questions, comments about Sabers Plus or the uh, Quinn's Big Mining Game, leave that in the comments section. That and fart smart and smell bad. <laughs> and I'll see you next Saturday. And I'll see you next Wednesday. Oh no, my sweater, my sweater. <laughs> Marsh Marty out. And then we'll have, let's say. Ah, <sighs> water. Really? There's an important lesson here, folks. Don't eat pre-chewed meat. Especially when it's in baby balls like that. That's, that's, that's just gross. I mean, like guys, hey, take a look at this. Do you know that's what this is? <laughs> that's not Put hamburger. <laughs> that Put was my a hamburger down. That was a, that was a steak, guys. <laughs> Believe it or not. It's called hamburger steak. Now carry on. This guy just sicked me out. It's hamburger steak. Look at this. He's, he's got he's got steak on pre-chewed steak <laughs> on the keyboard. This is disgusting. I always was a messy you dude. Now carry on. Let's do this.